Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this year we're taking a look at iBuntu 1.4 Cata Linux. Four years ago, in December of 2020, we took a look at iBuntu 2.0, which was meant to be a clone of macOS Big Sur. In this video, we're taking a look at the version that came before iBuntu 2.0, which is 1.4, and this is designed to look exactly like macOS Catalina. The reason I'm taking a look at this, even when we already took a look at version 2.0, is because I really think that there's a split between macOS Catalina and macOS Big Sur. The UI really changed and made macOS what it truly is today. So I'm curious to see how well this actually imitated that older UI of macOS. Of course, this is based on Ubuntu, I'm not sure what version, I think this is 18.04 and the Big Sur is 20.04. Um, so let's go ahead and boot into the live environment and get this installed. All right, and here we are. So this does actually look to be based off Big Sur. I mean, this is Catalinux, but as you can see, the screenshot looks a lot more like Catalina. I think we might've got uh, scammed here. Um, let's go ahead and continue with the installation. Um, because again, this is not the same version that we did already take a look at. So, let's go ahead. Our name can be Ubuntu, uh, and we'll make our password Linux because that is a very safe password. And next, and continue. All right, we are now installing macOS or not macOS Ubuntu Cata Linux. All right, and here we are inside of Ubuntu Cata Linux. The first thing is I think we truly got scammed because this is not dumb. Uh, this looks more like Big Sur, but okay, we'll move on. So by default, the files is actually one off. So just to make it more real, I'm going to move it over. Let's take a look at the desktop. Here we can see we have the Apple logo, which just brings up like a mission control type of thing. Finder, which does nothing. This, which is like our app launcher. Then over here we have our clock. We have our English or our keyboard layout, and then we have our settings, such as our user, our Bluetooth, our network settings, settings, things of that nature. Down here in the dock, we have our files app, which or finder, which actually, wow, that has a very close resemblance to the Mac OS finder. I mean, I think it looks pretty close. Um, we have launchpad, which again, looks like what you typically find in Mac OS or actually really any Linux distribution. Then we have Chrome, which uh, Mac doesn't come with that by default. It's curious to see what version of Chrome this is considering this ISO was compiled I think two or three years ago. Um, let's see. Let's take a look here. This is, I'm gonna bet like 103. Oh, I was actually, I'm exact, wow. I didn't look beforehand. That is crazy. Moving on, we have Shotwell. It seems to be like the Mac OS Photos app, but it doesn't actually open. We have calendar, which does open, and we can see this is a fully functional calendar. Kind of hard to not make one of those. We have the Ubuntu Software Center. So I think, yeah, this does look to be like the official Ubuntu Software Center. Although Minecraft installer is here. I didn't know that that was even on there. Okay. Moving on, we have our notes app, which appears to be, what kind of notes app is this? It looks like notes from macOS if it was made for Windows like 2000, just based on like the text and things. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Then we have our system settings, which I bet, okay, look at that. So it automatically opened to the about screen. Um, but if we go back, I mean, here's all of our settings. Uh, it doesn't really look like Mac OS here, but I mean, settings, I don't really think it has to. Um, moving over, we have time shift, which I don't actually know what this is. Moving on, we have sorry I skipped one we have the iBuntu update tool and it actually gives us a whole bunch of things like update save packages download blah 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 blah. and then next to that we have our terminal which is like your typical terminal then we have our recycle bin and hard reboot button and that just wants you to put the password in and it's going to do a hard reboot of the system so by default we have calculator calendar desktop or desk mode switcher so is that like dark mode and light mode but I also found a button in there that said Big Sur Design. Can we switch back to the Catalina? Look at that. So now we're themed like Catalina, which is actually what we were promised. Okay, cool. So maybe we didn't get scammed here. Um, it was just in a different mode. Well, that's cool that you can switch between the two. Yeah, okay. Well, that, that looks more like what we were promised. Uh, as you can see, our taskbar icons did change, like launch pads different now. 
Um, we have files, Chrome, Gparted, uh, all the stuff we already taken a look at really. Plank, I don't know what that is. Is that like the taskbar or something like that? I don't entirely know. Power statistics, screensaver settings, Shotwell, SM player, software updater. Uh, you know, all the stuff we've really already taken a look at. Document viewer is themed like uh, the Apple Books. Um, archive manager is here. We have all kinds of fun stuff in this operating system. So that being said, this was just a brief overview of Mac OS. I keep saying Mac OS. Ubuntu 1.4 Catalinux. Definitely an interesting one to take a look at. Uh, I took a look at this, like I said, because I really enjoyed Ubuntu 2.0, and this really doesn't, and this really isn't that much different. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.